I want to talk about raising a wide range. Obviously, I'm playing a lot of hands, and I think most people do it for image, but I personally don't think that that should be the underlying reason for raising a wide range. We should be playing a lot of hands so we can get involved in as many pots as possible, if we are strong enough to outplay our opponents. So, I'll get involved in as many pots with weaker players, knowing I can bluff them in a wide range of spots, value bet them thinly with the weakest of my range, and lose the least when I'm beaten. The more pots you can profitably play, the more money you can win. So if you raise a wide range for image, that can be a problem. Image is simply a kind of a, a consequence to playing a lot of hands. If you're not strong enough, you'll be put in tougher situations constantly because your range is weak and can end up burning money. If the intention is to get played back at when you pick up a big hand, then you're also getting played back at when you have weaker hands or air. So on the right table, I raised jack-3 suited in middle position to hopefully play a pot with the with what appears to be a fish running 60-10 according to my HUD, even though it's a crap sample size. I go for a delayed continuation bet again because I just don't like these wet middle-ish card flops. It's hard to think of many hands that he's going to fold on like a 6-7 deuce, you know, uh, diamond diamond flop. Now, with that being said, let's take a look at some sort of uh, boards where I don't think it's very good to make a continuation bet. So uh, here I have this nice little graphic of uh, flops. I apologize that there's no rabbits here. I wasn't sure where to put them. But uh, as we see, we've got uh, stuff like 10-8-4, two-tone, jack-9-7, rainbow, jack-6-7, two-tone, 8-9-10, rainbow, 7-10, 8, monotone, 8, 6, deuce, rainbow, jack, 8, 6, monotone, deuce, 8, 7, rainbow, and 9, 7, 5, rainbow. And the thing that all these boards have in common is that they have all these middle-ish connect-ish cards, like uh, 10, 8, 9, 10, jack, 9, jack, 10, 7, 6, 6, 8, stuff like that. These sort of middle-ish cards will easily connect with uh, villains' suited connectors, and a lot of these boards are low enough that they'll call with any pocket pair, putting you just on ace-king all the time. And if they have overcards themselves, they can check call hoping to hit their own overcard, knowing that it'll probably be good. So on these sorts of boards, it's really hard to make anyone fold any sort of pair or gut shot or some they're gonna have some sort of draw or a made hand uh... whether their draw is over cards a gut shot or the made hand is a pocket pair or just hit the board so uh... now let's look at some hand ranges and see how well they play on these sorts of flops so i got here uh... a range of hands like uh... king queen offsuit six four suited nine ten offsuit ace ten offsuit some pocket pairs some suited connectors, one gapper connectors, uh, queen jack suited, and just some rounded uh, suit. It's just some suited. I mean, sorry, some connected cards like five six off suit. And I mean, this is what anyone can have at any given time. If you're a fish in the blinds, they can probably have even wider ranges than this. But this is just an example. And let's take a look at uh, how well these ranges play on an extremely dry ace high flop. And on ace two. 8 rainbow, what we're going to see is that almost everything folds except for top pair and middle pair. Uh, the rest of the range just, just can't hold up. It, everything else is just too scared of the over card. You know, king queen can't call because even if it calls and hits a pair, it could be still behind an ace. So, I mean, this is what I call fold equity when everything folds. But uh, now let's look at uh, one of the simpler examples of one of these kind of middle ish connected card flops. Uh, 10, 8, 4, 2 tone. And it, as we see on this board, uh, virtually nothing folds. Uh, King, Queen is still over cards. 6, 4 suited has bottom pair. 9, 10 off suit has top pair. Ace, 10 off suit has top pair. Pocket sixes has something a little bit better than uh, bottom pair. 7, 8 suited has middle pair. Jack, 9 off suit is an open-ended straight draw. Queen jack suited is two over cards and a gut shot, and 5-6 offsuit is a gut shot. And it's even possible that 
pocket threes could have called on this board because his opponent will just put him on ace king. But for the sake of removing something, you know, I think if he's going to fold anything, it would be probably that hand. So let's look at uh, kind of a similar board, Jack nine seven rainbow, uh, which has tons of, you know, uh, gut shot potential and pair potential and all sorts of things. And as we see, the only thing that's remaining is, I mean, the only things that folded were the small pocket pairs that now have three overcards to the board and uh, the low suited connector, 6-4 suited, which didn't connect with anything. It has absolutely nothing on this board. But everything else still has either overcards, gut shot, pairs, uh, you know, two pairs, you know, something like that. It, it, it all connects with this thing in some way. Ace-10 is a gut shot and an overcard, and that's plenty of a reason for most people to peel the flop at least once. Now, on Jack-6-7 two-tone, uh, once again, we, we don't really get that many folds. Ace-10 now folds because it's just one overcard. Pocket-3 is folds because there's three overcards to the board, and then everything else pretty much stays. I mean, maybe they'd fold king-queen, but not entirely. There's backdoor straight draws and two overcards. It's going to be hard for someone to convince themselves to fold. 6-4 suited is at least bottom pair. 9-10 offsuit is a gut shot. Box six is a set, seven eight is middle pair, jack nine is top pair, queen jack is top pair, and six five off suit is bottom pair. So let's look at the board that I did not make a continuation bet on. Seven six deuce two tone. And on this board, uh we still aren't really getting a whole lot of folds from the majority of this sort of range. Uh I think the only things that he might have folded are some of the overcards that are not ace high, uh, but even then he could convince himself to call. But I mean, look at the majority of the stuff that's still coming around. I mean, there's a lot of pairs still on this board. Uh, nine ten offsuit is two overcards and a gut shot. Ace ten is ace high with two strong overcards. Uh, there's a lot of flush draws on this board. Just it's just really hard for people to actually make you know fold some hands. But I don't continuation these bet continuation bet these boards if. I have zero equity, and that's the thing. I had jack three of spades, which was absolutely nothing on that board. But let's say we give myself jack three of spades and turn this two-tone flop into a rainbow flop with one spade. Suddenly, I could probably continuation bet this board, because on the turn, I can barrel any almost any spade, which would give me a flush draw. It gives me a really good chunk of pot equity. I can barrel a lot of the over cards. Uh, any ace, king, queen are probably good to barrel as a bluff. And I couldn't really do that before when it was two-tone. Uh, well, I could, but if the flop comes like seven, six, deuce of diamonds, and if the ace, king, or queen of diamonds hits, then he'll peel with hands like nine, ten of diamonds just one more time on the turn because he's picked up a flush draw. And if anyone ever picks up any equity, they're not going to be folding. So that one little difference on this board, turning the six into a spade, uh, gives my hand a lot of life, but on the original board, uh, it was just had absolutely nothing. So the overall point that I'm trying to explain to you guys is that on these sorts of middle-ish boards, unless you have some sort of equity, you absolutely cannot just make one continuation bet and then give up because you're going to get ex you should expect to get called very very often on these sorts of boards so unless you can fire multiple barrels which uh, you may not always be able to do I suggest that you either check fold out of position or check back in position planning to go for a delayed continuation bet